If you listen closely to this interview, one of these dogs may end up roaring before we're done with this segment. Patty is here with Pet Pals TV with Chris and Chip from Big Dog Flooring. And you can't say we're from Big Dog Flooring without bringing in two gigantic big dogs. <laughs> they're their pets and their mascots. And they're just, but we want to talk too about the breed. Now, of course, if you have a pet, you need to know you need the right flooring and carpeting. See these people. These guys. Because yeah. you're going to have, you know, what's going to happen <laughs> sooner or later. Uh, let's talk about the breed, though. People see this, a 200-pound St. Bernard, and they want it not for everybody. Talk about the breed. That's true. Um, you got to be a big dog lover, but you also need to know what you are going to be getting into as far as um, raising a big dog. And one, the expense of, you know, yes. more food than just your regular size dog. Yep. And also, you know, the, uh, the fact that uh, depending on what type of breed you do get, like these two, St. Bernard's can't deal with heat well at all. Oh, so they have to stay cool. Fur, yeah. But the winter is their summertime. You can't get them in. They <laughs> love, absolutely love the cold. Did you get these big boys as puppies? Yes. they how, are. how big were they when they were supposedly little? We got them at nine months, uh, nine, nine weeks. weeks old, nine I'm sorry. Yeah. And yes, they were the last two of the litter. We went to get one St. Bernard, <laughs> and I could not pass up the other one because they were curled up together. Aww. And I I just, I couldn't leave the other one. So we ended up with both Do of them. remember how much they weighed when you first got them? When it? we 30. took them to their first vet visit, I believe it was 28 pounds. And now, Chip, how big are these guys? 195. Ooh. 195. Somebody can Randy, put away the kibble. Randy waves, he says. <laughs> <laughs> but you also have to consider, you know, the the hair, keeping them groomed, oh, yeah. you know, well, the maintenance the on hair. I imagine folks come into your store, right, and they're like, no, you don't understand, folks, I have a dog. Or, hey, I have a cat. Mm -hmm. And you probably say, mm -hmm, so do we. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. we know exactly what it's like to have big dogs on our floor yeah. or yeah. carpets. And you yeah. can actually speak from experience and say, exactly. do this one, not this one, do this one, not this and one. And we actually have people that do come in strictly because we are named Big Dog Flooring. And they feel more comfortable talking to somebody that about their pet issues. Oh, right. Here we are. We're doing a new ad for Pet Pals TV. We thank you so much for being wonderful sponsors. And something else, Chip, you can tell us. Why am I holding this? <laughs> Take a look at her hands here on the Why screen. am I holding this? Oh, for well, the boys are grueling a little bit there. <laughs> yep, they're, it's hot in here and they're, uh, they normally don't do too bad, though. Uh, so, yes, that's another thing you need to be aware of. They do <clears throat> slop a little yes. bit. So, there you go. Wow. And so does Randy. He's well, that, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, that makes a difference, too. Tell me real fast, just because I'm just so interested in this breed, what does their exercise situation look like? Like, well, how often do you get them out and really move it? Well, uh, they go to work every day with Chip. Ah. Um, they ride in the van, they go to work every day, they have a big room in the back of uh -huh. the flooring store that they can rumble around in. They have a big gated area outside the store, but then we, we have a, a very large yard also to where when they go home and, they can really and we're not in like a housing addition to where we have neighbors side by side on us uh -huh. to where what they, they, like they in can the, in the car roam. then ship too as they I mean what is they love riding what is that like? they ride with me all week long on measures and then Saturday and Sunday they have a hard time dealing with being oh, at home and then we have to take them for a ride a lot of times for about an hour at a time yeah, oh, and St. Bernard's, they're the working class, they're part of the working class yeah, dog. Yeah. So they don't like being idle. Oh, they they like there. being I out. They, as they He's got to fly, fly there. <laughs> Patty, tell me what's coming up on Pet Pals TV this weekend. Oh, lots of good things. Uh, Steve Schweitzer has, it's called Be More Dog. It's a, a, a couple who had a dog and the dog had cancer, had to be amputated on one leg. So they just decided to quit their job and take a camper and take the... Huh. Take the dog on travels and learn to be more dog. Learn and live your life. Isn't that a wonderful story? Also, sharks. I, I, I went to the zoo and painted a shark. And, okay. And you still have all five fingers on the one hand. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Can, can they stand up real fast? Can we yep. see there? Okay. Hey, big Come boy. here, Bean. That's how we got to send it over to Randy, right? <laughs> hey, Bernstein. Get yeah, Bernstein. There he's, we go. He's interested in the fly. <laughs> oh, the fly. He's looking at the fly. <laughs>